Thanks for your purchase of the Easy Stand Bantam Medium. This video will show you the basic assembly of the Easy Stand Bantam Medium. First, we will start by removing all the parts from the two boxes you received. Some of the boxes are left empty for packaging purposes. Remove all plastic wrap from the parts. Position the base of the unit as shown to install the casters onto the base. Remove the hardware from the casters. The casters are supplied with a locking component pre-applied to the thread stem. Do not remove this material. It is important to prevent the caster from loosening over time. Place the metal washer onto the stud of the caster and place the caster into the hole of the caster bracket. Place the black cupped washer onto the caster stud. Place the second metal washer into the black cupped washer on the caster stud. Place the lock nut onto the caster stud and tighten securely using the provided wrench. Place black cap onto the unit to cover hardware. Repeat these steps for installation of the other rear caster. Place the unit down as shown. Place the back as shown and line up the following arms. Remove the screw from both of the following arms and set the screws aside. You will need these later. Turn the knob all the way loose, flip the red tab of the knobs to the open position on both following arms. Insert both following arms onto the unit until the yellow color setting is reached on both following arms. Place the screws back onto each following arm, making sure the following arms remain in the yellow setting and both tubes are lined up. Tighten securely. Flip the red tabs closed and tighten knobs securely. Remove the plastic wrap from the hip pivot of the back, if not already done. Remove the two covers on the hip pivot of the back. Set covers aside. These will be needed later. Remove the bolt, plastic washer, metal washer, and nut from each side of the unit. Position the back to line up with the hip pivot of the seat. Line up the holes and place the plastic washer between the back and the slot on the seat. Insert bolt from the inside of the unit. Do the same on the other side. Place the metal washer and lock nut onto the bolt. Using an Allen wrench and the wrench from the tool kit, tighten the bolt and lock nut snug. Do not over tighten. Repeat the steps for the other side of the unit. There are three small bolts to remove on each cover for the hip pivot. Place the cover back onto the unit. Replace the back side bolt and tighten securely. Replace the top bolt and tighten securely. The third bolt will be installed later. If your casters are not already locked, please make sure to lock them. Carefully flip the unit onto its back as shown. You may need an assembly buddy to help assist you with this. Remove all four bolts from the front wheel assembly. With the openings on the bottom of the frame facing down, place the wheel assembly into the seat assembly. Insert the two bottom bolts into the base and wheel assembly. Flip wheel assembly up and insert two top bolts. Make sure to start all four bolts, then tighten securely. If the swing away front was ordered, place the caster assembly onto the wheel assembly as shown with the casters pointing up. You may need a rubber mallet to help assist the caster assembly into the wheel assembly. Insert the bolt into the assembly. Place nut onto bolt. Using an Allen wrench and the wrench from the tool kit, tighten the bolt and lock nut securely. Do the same on the other side. Place both foot plates onto the unit with the red handle to the outside of the unit. Tighten knob securely.
carefully flip the unit back to the neutral position. You may need an assembly buddy to help assist you with this. Loosen the following arm knobs and position the back at 90 degrees. Tighten knobs securely. If the supine option was ordered, remove the two bolts, coved washers, and nuts from the supine controller. Place the controller onto the unit, making sure the cables are not twisted and are free from getting tangled. One at a time, place the bolts and coved washers onto the supine controller bracket as shown. Place nuts onto the bolts using an Allen wrench and the wrench from the toolkit. Tighten securely. Place hip supports behind the seat as shown. Tighten knobs securely. Place lateral supports onto the back as shown. If the optional shadow tray was ordered, loosen the knobs on the tray tubes on the side of the back. Loosen the ratchet handles on the side of the tray. Flip the arms up and tighten the ratchet handles. Making sure the rear casters are locked, insert the two tray arms into the tray tubes on the unit. One of the arms is longer than the other for easier installation. Tighten knobs on the tray tube securely. You may need to pull the tray tube to lock into position. If the swing away front was ordered, make sure the tube insert is placed in the front of the frame as shown. Place the H-frame onto the unit as shown with the collar part of the H-frame on the tube insert side. Place the collar onto the frame until the plunger locks into place. The plunger handle needs to be pulled out to lock into place. Move the collar to lock into place. Place the tray upside down. Remove the knob and nut from both tray slides and set aside. Place the tray bracket onto the bolts with the shorter end of the bracket facing the chest pad. Place the knob onto each bolt on the longer end of the bracket and tighten snug. Place the nut onto each bolt and tighten until the thread is exposed. Place the tray assembly onto the H-frame. Depress the spring button to allow the bracket to slide into the H-frame. There is only one spring button. The spring button will stop in the max height position. Once the clamp is cleared, the spring button needs to be depressed again and allow the tray to slide into position. Tighten knobs securely once the tray height is in the desired position. For the no tray option, insert chest pad bracket and tighten securely. If a head support was ordered, loosen the knob and insert the head support. Tighten securely. Put pad into desired position and tighten knob securely. Insert each knee bracket assembly into the tube along the seat post. For standard knees, depress the spring button to allow the bracket to slide into place. Advance until the spring button locks into place. Tighten knob securely. For swing away knees, place knee bracket assembly into the tube and tighten knob on the assembly securely. Insert knee pad bracket into the tubes on the knee bracket assembly. Tighten knobs securely. Remove knobs from the knee pads. Place the knee pads on the bracket with the larger end of the pad to the outside and the seam side down. Place into desired position and tighten securely. Attach the pump handle to the pump on the seat assembly with the bolts and nuts. Using an Allen wrench and the wrench from the tool kit, tighten securely. Insert top of handle into pump handle and tighten bolts securely.
Pump the unit up until you have access to the third bolt hole on the hip pivot cover. Insert bolt and tighten securely. Do the same on the other side. Your Easy Stand Bantam Medium is now fully assembled. Visit EasyStand.com for more information.